What do we expect to hear from the board and how quickly do you expect this acquisition to happen? It's going to mark a decisive step today. We have the PSA Group uh, board meeting this afternoon and they could sign a binding MOU, a memorandum of understanding by the end of the day. Uh, according to Bloomberg sources, one big obstacle has been removed already. The French state who owns a 12% stake in PSA Group and is on the board is actually backing this MOU. Uh, and of course, this is very key because remember back in June uh, the state backing was actually responsible for uh, making the merger between Renault and Fiat uh, fail. So today what we expect in this MOU is of course more details about the future governance of the new entity and about the synergies between FCA, the owner of Fiat Chrysler and PSA Group. We expect John Elkan, the chairman of FCA to remain chairman of the new entity. Carlos Tava the current CEO of PSA Group to be the CEO of the new entity. We expect also PSA Group to have about six seats on the board, FCA to have five. We expect this entity to be based in the Netherlands but has uh, listings in New York, Paris and Milan. For PSA Group, of course, uh, it's a way to access the U.S. market with Chrysler and the brand uh, Jeep. Remember, PSA has been absent of the U.S. for more than two uh, decades. Uh, we could see, however, a few legal obstacles remaining. One with Italian tax authorities, and another one with Chrysler being accused by General Motors of bribery and corruption. And uh, the FCA has denied any uh, wrongdoing. And we expect finally this marriage to be over in about one year from now.